Welcome back everyone, Tina here. And in today's video, I'm very excited to share with you that we can now create QR codes within the CRM. You can use QR codes in many different scenarios. Let's say you're a restaurant, for example. I'm sure you've seen this before. You go out at night, you have dinner with your friends and you can see on the table, there's a little stand, a little sign with a paper. Hey, leave us a review if you liked your experience. And then there's a little QR code, which you can just scan with your phone, which then forwards you directly to Google reviews or Facebook reviews or wherever the company really wants you to forward to. You can now do the same same thing with this CRM. So let me show you how you can set this up. All right. First, you want to access the QR code generator via sites on the left. Click on QR codes at the top and you can see we haven't created any yet. So let's just create the first one. Hit create new and then you can name the QR name. Let's say we run an influencer campaign, for example. Then we can add a website. Where do we want the people to be forwarded to once they scan this QR code, right? So let's say maybe it's Facebook reviews, Google reviews, anything like that. Or you just select the review link automatically, which will then be pulled from your review. Click next and here you can add the website URL. So let's say it's google.com, then hit next again. And here you can modify the colors and the background. So the background here, for example, is white right now. So we can change the color to pink, for example. Okay, then we can change the dots color also, if you like, to white. That looks pretty cool. Then the marker border color. Let's change it to blue so you can really see the difference. Okay, and then the marker center color is black at the moment. So that's these little dots. Let's make those maybe yellowish. Okay, so that's our colors set. If you scroll down, you can also change the shape and the form. If you want your QR code to look more or less pixelated, you just choose any of those dots here. Then the marker border, you can change it. Currently, it's selected for this one. We can change it to square. Or we can change it to round as well. And then the marker center as well to from dot to square or vice versa. Then we can also add a logo, by the way. You can just click upload here and select any logo from your media library so the little flowers in the middle right there or if you don't want to use your own logo you can also use any of those logos which you can see right here for example if you're creating qr codes for your business cards and you want people to scan your business card the qr code on your business card so that they can whatsapp you you can just select the whatsapp icon right here so it's pretty clear to everyone what happens once they scan this particular code and then you can scroll down you can also remove background behind logo let's turn this off and you can see the little square has disappeared let me turn it on again so the square is back on again then lastly, page background. Again, you can upload an image from your media library. Let's select this one. And then the transparency is 100%. You can just move this slider here to make it less transparent or just make it fully visible. After that, you can also download your QR code and then start printing it and put it on the tables of your venue, for example, if you want people physically in your venue and if you want people to scan the codes right there and then. Then you can hit save. And here you can see our first QR code is the influencer campaign. Okay. If you wanted to edit the code, you just click on edit and then you go through the steps again. You can at any time change the URL, for example, even if you keep the same QR code. So let's say you're running a Christmas campaign and you're printing out all of these QR codes, these posters, and you're handing them out physically in your venue. And next year, you just want to change the URL. You can just do that. You log into the CRM, you change the URL, you change pricing if you want so, for example, and that way you don't have to reprint them out again. By clicking the three dots right here, you can then either delete the QR code or download it once more. Let's just create another one so I can show you a few different options. Create QR code, give it a name. Now let's select review link hit next and here we can select hey where do we want to send the people to it's either going to be our facebook page or our google review page so this shows up right now because this sub account is connected to the google reviews and to the facebook page reviews if you haven't connected those before under reviews then they will not show up so make sure on the reputation you connect those so let's say facebook let's keep that and here you can change the header as well here you can change the text drop a review on facebook for us and get cashback for example you can change the font family you can change the text color to make it pink okay and then you can change the footage as well so here you can write your company name if you wish so you can change the color as well make it purple or red and you can also upload an image if you want to click the image button let's select the image and here you can see our logo the little flowers showing up again let's hit next and again i'm not going to walk you through here this because i just did that so here's the same settings as before you could change those and here again you can download qr code then hit save and that's it now we have two qr codes generated Okay, and then right here we can check the analytics. So just click on analytics and a new window will show up with all the analytics. So here you can select in the drop down menu from QR codes to funnels and websites analytics. In this case, of course, we want to see the QR codes analytics. And then in the next drop down menu, you can select the QR code. So let's select the QR code influencer campaign, for example. And of course, there are no scans right now because we just created that QR code a minute ago. You could also change the dates up here and search in between different dates if you wanted to just show all the scans 
campaigns within one day or within one week, depending on when your campaign started, for example, then you can do that as well. Then the system will also differentiate between QR scans in total. So it will count the amount of all the scans. And then it will also show you in pink right here, the unique QR scans. So sometimes the same person scans the same code several times. This will then be displayed in blue QR scans, all the scans in total, and then the unique ones in pink. If you wanted to understand the statistic a little bit better, you just click on the icon button here and read through the SOP there. And that's it already, ladies and gentlemen, this is how you can set up your unique QR codes for your business. This comes in really handy if you're running influencer campaigns, for example, and you're paying somebody else to promote your business, to collect appointments or just simply leads. You can provide them with a QR code. They can share it on their Instagram. They collect leads. And then that way, you know exactly which campaign worked, how many scans did you get? Was it profitable? Would you want to do it again? And that way you can also make data-driven decisions. I will see you in the next video. Thank you.